Oh well, hello, 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 and welcome back to another Kingdom Maker episode with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, and everyone in between, today we're going to be talking about the Academy and Research. As a very basic overview, early game, what you should be focusing on, and what this thing actually does. So the Academy is available to you very early in the game, I believe it's after level 4 or level 5. Uh, you will get the Academy, so you should all have it after just an hour or so of gameplay. Um, bang, uh, bang. Uh, me and Flamehawks are just talking. So we live in the same city, so we're just talking about places we go, etc. Um, the Academy is a very, very fantastically powerful thing, and you must ensure that you're constantly researching um, as often as you possibly can. Uh, there are four areas of research to start with. The nobles, to combat the city, and then you will get the siege after a certain point, once you can build the siege uh, factory. What is it called over here, actually? What's this thing called? Yeah, the Siege Factory. Oh, well done, Mr. Gill. You remember that very, very, very well. Um, in here, we obviously have these four things, and these four things are where we're going to focus. Each, each one of these contains a research tree, and if we scroll down, there's lots and lots and lots and tons of things to research all the way down the thing. Uh, what should you focus on? Okay, what should you focus on in order to achieve maximum power in minimal amount of time? My suggestions are as follows uh in the noble section i definitely think getting your family size up is super important having a collier which is a specialized miner again is super super helpful um, but also getting to uncommon noble equipment and then family size 2 is super important you can see here we've just done family size 2 so we can now increase the size of our family which is going to give us more opportunities to do more dungeon crawling uh, to do more trading uh, and to potentially form another army um, so in terms of noble research i would be heading for family size two as possible as fast as you possibly can this has roughly taken me three weeks to get to here because i've not been super super fast at focusing on it but you definitely could do it faster um here in the combat section uh what we want to be heading for here is right down here is regular troops now basically think of these as a tier level of your troops so troops come in the basic level and then this is the second tier or tier two for your troops they are infinitely more uh, not infinitely but they are definitely <laughs> a lot more uh worth it than your regular troops they definitely have a lot more power a lot more health a lot more carrying a lot more speed and all of those things so focusing on getting to the second tier of troops down here as fast as possible i think is super important uh, if you focus on that then you won't be wasting too much of your time training a load of tier one troops though you will always need them you really want to be getting down here as fast as possible to the regular guys uh, once you do that you will notice a massive difference in your power um, in the city section, the one thing I think we should be focusing on, I think all of this is kind of a little bit important, but not super important, but at, uh, I think, uh, about castle level 10, you will require food production to go up if you're following the daily storyline, uh, so that's a super important thing. I also think research speed um, is probably a really good one to focus on as well, uh, but less so important than the other two. So to begin with, I've been advising all of my uh, members in the Alliance to focus on getting their family size up and to focus on getting to tier two soldiers. After that point, I think it's going to become a little bit more tricky on what to focus on, and I would probably go back and focus on a little bit of the basic production stuff. I have noticed at uh, castle level or keep level 15 now, I do have issues with stone uh, production, silver production, and food production. So as much as I can increase those, the, the better. Um, that's all I need to say on that. I hope that kind of helps a little bit in giving people an idea of what to focus on to begin with. Um, let me know down below if you think that I've missed anything uh, and if you want a more in-depth. As I've said before, we're doing these videos as a kind of basic early game level and as we get through, we're going to get more complicated and more kind of um, intense about what we should actually be focusing on. Um, I'm hoping to draw up a, a basic research tree, what I would research through, you know, one through a hundred effectively. Anyway, I hope that helps everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.